what are your expectations about the participation of Nicaragua and the World Players, World Baseball Classic? I mean, there's a lot of good teams in this bracket, um, but I think we've shown not just ourselves. We believe in ourselves. We've shown everyone else that we can play with anyone. We, you know, beat Scherzer a couple of days ago. We were down three. We came back. And we we were, you know, in the lead going into the eighth. So it just shows that we were just played great competition and we can we can deal with anyone. What happened because uh, we didn't uh, see you play in any league after July. Mm -hmm. I know you got married and some personal stuff uh, happening. What happened? What happened with you because uh, we didn't uh, see you play? Yeah, like you said, I just took some time to, to rest. You know, I had a lot of injuries the past few years and it was, it was right for me to kind of take a little break for myself and I had some personal stuff going on. It, it was really a hard decision to not play in the uh, qualifier, I wanted to be there. Um, you know, anytime I get to put on this uniform, it's an honor, so um, it was a hard decision, but I'm really happy to be here now, and I'm hoping to help the team in any way I can. What do you, how do you feel when uh, the Mets games, the Nicaragua versus Mets game finish? How did, how did you feel? I felt so happy, man. I felt so proud to represent this, this country. Part of where I come from, part of my culture, even, you know, the small, I expect there'll be more fans here this weekend, but yeah. even the few that went to that game were so loud, they supported all of us. It was, it was really fun. Uh, what about your, your batting? What happened, what, what's happening in the beginning, then uh, yesterday maybe you adjust a little bit? What happened? Yeah, I mean, I've been training hard the last few months. Um, there's nothing that can replicate game, you know, game intensity, game play, and It's not like they were just throwing out, you know, random guys. They had their best arms going, and and I had some good swings. You know, I just it was it was good for me to get back in the rhythm of things, and I feel ready to go. So, Alex, what is the mindset right now for this team after one against Mets and going to Puerto Rico game tomorrow? You no, know, I think we're confident, and I think a lot of the other teams in this tournament underestimate us, um, but we believe in ourselves, like I said, and. And it's baseball, man. Anyone can win any any night. What is the key to get the win tomorrow? What is the key for tomorrow? It's going to come down to the little things. I mean, throwing strikes, making them earn their hits, playing good defense. And, you know, we I've, I've been really impressed with the at-bats from everyone, top to bottom in the really? lineup. We, uh, you know, just like the other day we faced Scherzer. We got him to 70 pitches in three innings. I made him work, and I think that's that's going to be part of it. Getting getting the starter out early, just having good at bats, timely hitting. Your mom is so proud of you to represent in Nicaragua. Your mom and your dad, right? My dad, well, both yeah. my mom and my yeah. dad. Um, but dad. My dad originally, yes, is, yeah. is from Nicaragua, and my grandparents are going to be here, so I know it'll be um, you know very special for them as well. How much time uh, is the last time that you've been in Nicaragua? It's been some years, man. I, I've been playing nonstop for the last ever since you know high school so I haven't had a ton of time off I've been playing you know all season all summer um, but I would love to go back for sure. what is the last time that you've stayed there um, you know it's been, it's been maybe 10 years but wow. <laughs> um, you know I still have family in Managua and, and I'm in communication back and forth yeah, yeah. so um, like I said it, it would mean a lot for me to go back I'd love to